So, what's up, guys? It's Fall Sign here. Today, uh, doing a live recording uh, of a deck profile with my good friend Emmanuel. Yo! And this video is going to be sponsored by the Green Tea Kit Kat Bar. Uh, I don't know where my friend got this. It looks pretty dope as fuck, but the, as soon as he said it was made with green tea, I said, fuck that shit. I don't want one. So, yeah, but uh, this is the official sponsor for the video. I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm just kidding, Nestle. You don't have to sponsor me or give me money at all. But free chocolate would be encouraged. I, I'm a fat ass and I like food, so yeah. Well, now let's get on with the video. Uh, today we have uh, the um, the uh, spiciest Metagross uh, tech you guys will ever see. Uh, we used to have proxies in this deck, but Emmanuel's a little camera shy in terms of showing us those proxies, so we actually put it in the real cards. So let's get in with the profile. Um, so this is going to be a little out of place. I'm going to have to dig for the cards. But first and foremost, we've got our lovely bowl of ice cream. Uh, you always want this, this lovely uh, bowl of ice cream. It's the best thing ever. Um, the reason why, it searches a supporter. Uh, if people don't have a Tapu Lele GX does by now, either you don't fucking play Pokemon, or... Yeah, it, no, well, either you've never opened Guardians Rising, or you don't know what competitive Pokemon is. This card is in every single fucking list. Uh, it's amazing. She's rule 34 based, and while, to be honest, no one's ever going to use Tapu Cure GX except for me at a, at a big locals and you win it. with it. Um, I use it. But you don't top. Oh, really? We, we tell the tales of champions, not the tales of people that come last to logos. Hey, hey, come on, Emmanuel. Don't take it too hard. It is true, man. I don't know. Ever since ever since you swapped over to Meta Gross, I haven't seen you been topping. Wow. Talk about blinged out shit, bro. Now I gotta sort it out so that the fans don't get PTSD from all these shiny cards. You're wondering what the music is. Let's actually get a new Pokemon song in the background. I'm pretty sure you guys can hear it. Let me turn my mouse on because I'm a G. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go with Primal Dialga. I'm a really big fan of this song. Um, sadly, it's from Explorers of Time. So if you don't get a chance to play Explorers of Time, you'll never hear this beautiful song. Unless you happen to be a pleb on YouTube, then, you know, that's awesome, right? Let me just make sure that I get all the Pokermans out. How many Pokemans in the deck? That's eight no basics. Eight basics. Okay, so we've got uh, we've got our dumbbells. So we got three uh, bell dumbs. You know, bell dumbbells, bell dumbs. Fun stuff. Uh, this is the first evolution uh, to Metagross. We have two Metangs. And then last but not least, we have three Metagross in all three of its art styles. So uh, from uh, regular art, full art, to rainbow, uh, well, hyper, RR, which stands for rainbow rare, but people call it hyper rare. I don't know, it's, just call it ghost rare, whatever. Yeah, it's, it's a Yu-Gi-Oh card, it's a ghost rare now. Uh, the reason why people play this, uh, you don't care about anything that regards Beldum or Medang, as they're just fodder until you get this motherfucker out. Let's read the one where I could actually read the text off. Um, Geotech Systems allows you to take a uh, Psychic or Steel basic energy uh, from your discard pile and put it onto your active Pokemon. So say Lele is the active, we have Metagross here in the background. Metagross can put an energy on Lele for free, let's just say this is an energy. So BAM, and this is not once per turn, this is once per Metagross. So if you have all three Metagross out, put uh, two more energy on the Tapu Wei Wei, and then BAM, get a... 60 base damage energy drive. And it gets stronger and stronger. Yeah, it gets stronger and stronger every time. Top of Lily is actually really good in this deck. It's nice. Numbers. And it also has can target steel and psychic. Yeah, but it has to be basic energies as, as special energies in the graveyard or sorry, I play too much Yu-Gi-Oh! And the discard pile count as special energies. They don't count as uh, regular energies. So you Metagross sadly can't attach shield energy to steel Pokemon and can't attach uh, mystery energy, which is expanded anyways to psychic Pokemon. Uh, so let's move on. We run the one Cosmo because, you know, Nebby, Nebula... And why the Cosmo is kind of a mystery. Yeah, the Cosmo is because, well, when you're having a Pokemon that has a free energy requirement, you sort of want that Sun Steel Lion, you know, you know, it's a fire type steel but he, but lion. But he's also not mandatory. Mandatory in the line. Yeah, he's he's the one. He's the one tech. You, you put one in. Reason why is because you have Ultra Road. So you don't you don't need multiple copies of Ultra Road because Ultra Road is like a free switch for yourself. 
Uh, you get to switch any Pokemon. It's not Solgaleo with your active target. Example, you have Lele. Let's go back to the... Uh, uh, say... Uh, okay. So, a scenario here. We have Tapu Lele on bench. We have Metagross as active. But Metagross, like say... Metagross is burned and he has, like, yeah, a bit of damage, right? You know, you want to get rid of the burn. You want to... And Tapu Lele already has, like, a few energies on her. You wanna you want you wanna vamp up the top of Lele. So what you can do is you can if you're not hit by a Hex Maniac or a card that negates Pokemon abilities, uh, so that'd be Garbotox and Garbodor, or uh, or Hex Maniac. You can Ultra Road. This removes the status condition, and then um, Metagross can attach another energy to the top of Lele, powering her up once again. So that's really nice. Um, and also you don't you're not forced to retreat like. Yeah, you're not forced to retreat, because Metagross' retreat cost is 3 energies, same with Solgaleo, so this is why Ultra Road comes in real handy. But since Solgaleo has 250 HP, and it's hard to get out, because Cosmog and Cosmoan, well, other than drawing one card and basically using Switch, because that's Cosmoan's attack, uh, other than those two things, they're pretty irrelevant, they have a Psychic Weakness, so they're really weak to Garbodor and Espeon. So you don't want to leave them out for no reason. They're even weak to a Miraculous Shine Espeon. If ever that thing gets free energies, it can one-shot either of those, which is really a sad day. Um, and uh, the main reason why we use uh, Solgaleo other than Ultra Road is not for the Sunsteel Strike, which knocks out any Pokemon. It's for the Soul Burst, which attaches five energy, five energy cards from your deck in any way you'd like. Now, for these energy cards, you can attach special energy cards. However, using the Geotech systems, you will not be able to retrieve these from the discard pile. So you can set up five, you can set up four shield energies on one regular steel or whatever kind of energies you want. So Galeo, the reason why he worked with Florantis is because you could set up grass energies too. So it's really any kind of energy cards you want. Uh, does this work with DCs? Uh, no, because it's too steel and no, 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 no. Yeah, it works so, with double colors. So you, you could use up all four of your... Soul Burst GX could essentially search and set up all four of your DCs on your bench if you would like to get it set up. Um, but other than that, uh, it's, it's just really a good card. But since it's so hard to play and the attack gets rid of all the energy, which is bad. Well, we don't, we don't like that. In, in, this, in this version of the deck, we really hate it. So it's why, it's well, why we don't play. Well... I play Steel, steel Strike as more of an emergency situation. Yeah, because it not, it'll, it'll guarantee a knockout on any Pokemon, since normally he has the choice ban. So, um, any Pokemon with 250... Sorry, if I cut yeah, you off. Any Pokemon with 250 HP is a GX or an EX. No, is guaranteed a Stage 2 GX. And it also helps with the Mirror Match, because people are, did heavily play Metagross for a while. Yeah. So. For, for, for the Wild Iron Manual, was playtesting this deck. Uh, there was a lot of Metagross play that I was uh, seeing play, but this it was a different variant. It was uh, heavy Alolan Vulpix. I'm about to get into that segment. Um, so, in the Mirror Match, Steel doesn't have a weakness, because it's weak to fire. And as we all know, Volcanion died as soon as Garbodor came out, because Garbodor said, hey, nice four elixirs in Grave, uh, choice, ban, knockout. Um, essentially, that's what it was, because no tools. Why you no still lose heart to Volcanion? Yeah, yeah, this this deck gets as you can see in my YouTube video that I featured uh, when I played against Johans. Uh, the one Flareon knocked out his entire team, um, mainly because it's 110 base uh, with three energies, four energies makes it so that it's 260 on weakness. Not even needing a choice band. I had a muscle band on for shits and giggles, I think, or a float stone. Um, but yeah, fire types decimate this deck. However, there's no good fire types out yet. Volcanian is, uh, we might be seeing Salazzle GX, or like, oh, like that, card, that card is amazing. I, I love Salazzle. Uh, she's getting a GX pretty soon, I think in SM4? Yeah, I think in SM4. No, no, it's a, uh, SM3, so it's going to be in the next set. So in Burning Shadow, she's been given a GX? Yep. Is that already been confirmed? Yep. Okay. I didn't know. I, I only saw Gardevoir. I saw, well, there was Gardevoir that was. What else was there? It's Gardevoir, Ho Oh, uh, Darkrai, Charizard. Because I know Ho-Oh, Charizard it, are one part of the set in Japan, yeah. and then the other is purely well, also, just Darkrai. Well, you have... Uh, Gardevoir, uh, Galissapod GX. Yeah. There's... Uh, we are also getting Kiawe, the new uh, fire supporter that um, that puts four fire energies on a Pokemon, and then... No, it's, yeah, I believe it's any... Uh, any, any energy? Fire, any fire energy. And then ah, you okay. Have, but you end your turn. 
Oh, okay, so that's not bad. So uh, getting back to the deck profile, sorry for being distracted. Alolan Vulpix, the reason why this card is amazing in this deck is uh, you see this... Uh, sorry, my finger is really bad at pointing. The uh, energy symbol next to Beacon means uh, no energy required. Uh, this is apparent on a few Pokemon, even the new Alolan Muk GX, which is coming out. This means that the attack can be used when the Pokemon has no energy. Um, we were confused at first what this meant, but this means that you can attack without having energies attached to it. Essentially what Vulpix does for the deck, it'll never use the Icy Snow. It's a shit attack. But Beacon is amazing, because you search two Pokemon. So unless you're getting hit by N, you're fine. Yeah, most likely. So you search two Pokemon. If you need a if you need if you need a Cosmog and a Solgaleo, you search that out. Well, if you need Solgaleo and Metagross because you have your bench set up, you search that out. It forces yeah, your if it, it forces like your it's more of a predictable play on that. And when you're using the beacon effect, you're normally going to target cards that you need yeah. or the evolution uh, evolutions that you need. That's what makes it very consistent, and a lot of players have been playing it since the Metagross, which I borrowed. The idea from uh, one of the lists. The only tech I would say is mine is more the Solgaleo. Yeah, the one Solgaleo and, thing is like an amount People play special. four Metagross, but in my opinion, you're playing too defensive and you're never going to get your one shots versus All right. bigger opponents. So now let's go ahead and get into the energy part of this deck profile. This is pretty simple, but let's just get it out of the way. Just Should so be 10 energies. Nine, uh, nine steel and one second. Right, let's just count to make sure. Alright, so we got the one psychic energy like Emmanuel was talking about, three, six, nine, uh, ten energies just because you're not running elixirs, you don't need more than that, you're not uh, afraid to run out of energies, and if anything, I imagine you have a uh, Brock's Grid or Super Rod, right? There's a Super Rod. Okay, so yeah, one Super Rod, so essentially it makes it 13 energies, besides with Metagross's effect, you have energy as much as you want as long as it's in your discard pile, and there's no... Uh, card that your opponent can play that shuffles energy from your discard to your deck. The only card that does that is uh, Karen, but it's for Pokemon, and it's both players, so it punishes your opponent as well if he has uh, shit in the discard pile that he needs. Let's move on to the item section. So this is going to be a little lengthier. The explanations are pretty simple on most of these cards, as these cards have become meta staples. Uh, some of these cards are known meta staples, the others are just uh, sort of like one-ofs and tricks unique tricks and styles that the deck operates with. So let's hop into it. Let me just uh, let me just sort this out. Won't be too long. Okay. So first and foremost, we got the one Heavy Ball. The reason why we run Heavy Ball is uh, you run Heavy Ball when your Pokemon have a retreat cost of three or more. So uh, Metagross and Solgaleo and Metang for this deck. Yeah. Only three Pokemon that have it. For that, Which you know, five it, it, yeah, five five targets. So, guarantee is the need for it. Uh, Ultra Ball. It's your Lele searcher or your Vulpix searcher or whatever you need searcher for Pokemon. Mainly Lele and Vulpix. Or if you're missing, example, the mid stage evolution, and you have rare candy or no, it's like it's whatever. It's, be your target, yeah, it's, it's a, we'll show that to you while we get into the support users. Yeah. So you have uh, two rare candies. Actually, rare candy allows you to go from st a basic to stage two. It's, it's uh. Huh? It's three rare candies. Yeah. I said two. <laughs> there should be a third one. There it is. Sorry about that, folks. Alright. So, yeah, three rare candies. Uh, this essentially, like in the video game, it gives your Pokemon a level up, but however, in the TCG, it's a little more broken. It forces a double evolution standard on your Pokemon. So, say you have uh, you have Cosmog and Solgaleo, right? Because Cosmog has been played the turn before, so he was your active turn one, and now we're we're the next turn. It's your turn, right? You draw into your rare candy. You can rare candy to evolve. It it skips the middle evolution. It doesn't require anything else, but this counts as your Pokemon's evolution for that turn. So you can't you can't like if Solgaleo had a Mega, you couldn't you couldn't put the Mega on Solgaleo to end the turn, or you couldn't. Well, that'd be a little broken if Legendaries had that, but hey, <laughs> cough cough me too. Um, Anyways, it allows you to skip the stage one. Stage one in TCG is the second evolution in Pokemon, um, essentially. 
Uh, now, getting back to the items, here are some staples that don't really need much explanations to them. You have two field blowers. Um, with Garbodor being a prominent threat in the matchup, Choice Band is a heavy influential item that sees two to three copies of play in every single list. And Geotaxin Garbodors. So. Yeah, Garbotaxin Garbodor is also a threat, as with that, Geote Geotech Systems has no effect. Ultra Road has no effect. It really hurts. It really does hurt. Um, but with this, this is mainly used to knock out Floatstones, Parallel City, Silent Lob, and, um, Silent Lob, and Choice Band. Those are the four main tools and stadiums that see play. There is Skyfield now seeing a huge resurgence, but that is automatically shut down if people play pseudo Wudo. So it's not too big of a threat to worry about. Now we have the Choice Bands we were talking about. The reason why choice ban is because this meta, this meta is mainly sure there will be some non EX and GX, but 80% of what you see is EX GX. So this before resistance, this is important to calculate because this this leads the one shots on a lot of shit. Before resistance plus 30 damage. Say you have a Pokemon that has a Steel weakness, Alolan Ninetales, best example, Sylveon GX, best example. They have a Steel weakness. Already is Sol Galeo and uh fucking um Metagross already one shot the damn thing. Just because one fifty times two is three hundred and unless until we see Mega Whale or GX, we're not we're not getting three hundred HP. Yeah. Uh so it's just it's staple when hitting Shaman, when hitting Tapu Lele, when hitting Tapu Coco, soon to be Tapu Fini, uh when hitting Tapu Bulu, when hitting uh, what else? Any GX or EX, like previously mentioned. Uh, uh, Shaman, since Shaman is getting rotated out, a lot of lists have seen play with Octillery and Oranguru, mainly the new, uh, just, it's an old justified Gallade. Um, sort of like how in the VGC Pokemon, where the more damage it takes, the more damage it does. Um, but like in here, I think it works with the prize cards or something like that. It's, it's pretty cool. It's a fighting alternative to the new Gardevoir GX deck that is coming out. But it's pretty nice. Um, if not, Pseudo Wudo uh, really just shuts down the use of Field Blower. Uh, so that's why normally you don't want to hit Skyfield with Field Blower, as if you have a Pseudo Wudo on board in other decks, it automatically shuts your opponent's bench down to a size 4. Okay, we run 3 VS Seekers. Um, it's your Monster Reborn for supporters. You really like this card. It's It's. The one card that people will never suggest just discarding, as we don't have item recyclers yet. We probably will never have item recyclers, as it'd be too fucking broken. Maybe in the future. Who knows? We have them in evolution forms. Yeah, I guess. Um, but you're not gonna get an item that gets back an item or, or a trainer. Yeah, we're not gonna have we're not gonna have like Brock's Grid or Super Rods uh, that do it for items, as it'd be a little too broken. There is maintenance where you shuffle two cards from your hand into your deck. Or discard pile and you draw one? No, you put two cards from your hand back into the deck and draw one. Okay, so yeah, that's that's like the only sort of like item recycler we have. If not, we have N. N's not getting rotated out anytime soon. Max Potion, pretty self-explanatory. Your Pokemon has a huge attack cost. And it has 250 HP. And so you either retreat to lose the energy, heal up. Or you, with Solgaleo on the field, you just heal the weakened one, and then you just power it back up again. As it's hard to get through 250 in one single attack, it really does take at least two or three consecutive attacks to knock it out. And then we have Super Rod and Escape Rope. Escape Rope to run away if ever you have certain things on the field uh, as you're active that you don't want. But this is mainly used to counter your opponent. If your opponent has something delicate on the bench that he's setting up with elixirs and effects and stuff like that, it's because Aqua Patch only works on bench Pokemon. It doesn't work on the active. Um, there are a lot of other things that really don't help uh, active Pokemon in this current format. So that's useful. It's useful to have. It also saves if ever you need uh, your stuff. Since you already have Solgaleo, if you have Solgaleo set up on the field, you already have the tech ready. Uh, so you don't need it, but uh, it's useful to use against your opponent. And Super Rod, of course, if you're sick of more of the early cards that you need, uh, you never want to Super Rod energies back into your deck. The reason is the only the only reason why you'd want to do that is if you were playing Professor's Letter and you want you needed to search energy out that same turn. 
then yeah. that'd be a good tech for it. But uh, other than that, you really and the main reason why Super Rod is played is you're not norm since I'm playing three Metagrosses, you're not guaranteed to get all three on the field. So you're normally gonna get two. Yeah, and, and when you lose one, energy. when you lose one, you want to recycle the pieces or yeah. recycle what you want out of the pieces and yeah. then get it back. So one parallel city, the only stadium we're playing in this deck. Uh, the uh, main reason why is if you have to shut yourself down, it doesn't hurt you. And if you have to uh, uh, damage reduction yourself, it doesn't hurt you. Is you don't have a grass, fire, or water type. You only have steel types. And, well, this is actually the, the only option I thought of that could kind of injure the, the Medicos matchup. Yeah. Because... Yeah, playing playing city like this can hurt because it limits your setup. Playing city like this helps you out because your opponent can't put his city this way. Since you can't replace a stadium with an active stadium that's well, with the same stadium that's already active, that's some decent counterplay. Um, so getting into the supporter lineup, let's get into the classic draw supporters. Alright, let's see what else. Alright. So we always normally play 7? Yeah, there's normally always 7 draw supporters. Lily's more of the tech aspect? Yeah, Lily, Lily is a tech. reason why... Uh, sorry for the... Wow. Wow, okay, this card is so bright. My camera legit got a seizure from looking at it. Um, okay, fuck it. Uh, <laughs> ow, please. Hey, can you can you try and close the blind the manual? Sure. I'm sorry, this, this lighting is cancerous. And the other side, too? Okay, awesome. Okay, so that's a little better. Thank fucking God. Whoa. Okay, yeah. Alright. Alright, yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good. Stop, 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 stop. Alright, so Lily, the reason why we play Lily is Lily is the best turn one supporter that you can play, as it allows you to draw until you have up to eight cards, if used on the first turn. Regularly, it's a Bianca where you draw until you have six, but uh, this goes to the plus eight region, if you can. Most often, it's doable to get a plus eight, because you have three cards in your hand, one of them is an Ultra Ball, so you Ultra two, set the Pokemon or whatever, then uh, while you like your Ultra Ball for Tapu Lele, and then bam, you're good to go. Uh, and our best card in the game, one of the best cards in the game by far, uh, shuffling your opponent's hand back. If you're, if you're losing, it means you get to deny your opponent cards. If you're winning, however, it means you get to draw less cards. However, this can also be good because certain decks have draw power, which allow you to draw more. And the reason, but this is the reason that we're playing three instead of normally two is to bring back pieces that we don't want to get hurt. Yeah, we don't want to discard shit that we can't afford to discard. So that is always a good thing to have. Three Sycamores, standard, you discard your hand, draw seven. Really good card, not getting rotated out, it's from Steam Siege, so we have it until 2018. And then the one Professor Kukui, when you need that extra damage boost, it's really just there for it you. Helps because it helps. Plus, it also gives you two cards. Well, another thing to be aware of is that a lot of the uh, attacks that Metagross needs to hit when it comes to single GXs and stuff like that... Is 107. Yeah. So and it does 150. So Kukui boosted... Kukui boosted non-choice banded Metagross is 170. Choice banded is 200, and if hitting on resistance, it goes up to 400 damage on one hit. It also, so, also yeah. works on Sol Galeo. Well. Yeah, so Sol so Galeo is just fucking overkill. If you fucking <laughs> choice ban Kukui on weakness, you're hitting for you're hitting for 560 damage. The equivalent of killing almost three EXs and GXs in a row. So that's basically one shotting your opponent's entire board. The day we get a split damage card is the day Solgaleo gets perm banned. <laughs> this attack is too strong. Uh, Bridget, uh, it allows you to put up to three basics on the bench. Now the fun thing about this, sadly, is that we don't have good basics to show off. But EXs are basics. Since this card mentions you either get one EX or three basics, is you could essentially, if you had a deck built for it, you could search out three GXs. But we don't want to search... Uh, Lele, for the same reason that we wouldn't want to search a Shaman, just because um, the reason why we don't is because this puts them on the bench. So this negates uh, Wonder Tag that Tapu Lele has when you play from the hand, very specific dimension. Especially what one mistake I did at Locals is I nest balled Hoopa, and nest ball puts it on the bench, and I lost I lost the game because of it. So 
Yeah. Another the, the targets that you're going to normally get for Bridget is going to uh, be the uh, you're either most likely getting one Vulpix or two Vulpix, or and one then Vulpix. yeah, one Vulpix, and the rest is going to be um, Beldum. And if you have the setup, it's going to be the uh, Cosmog. Yeah. Which is helpful. Yeah. Teammates, early on in the game, you're going to lose a lot of Pokemon if you get target sniped. It's the deck's main weakness is that it has very low HP cap basic Pokemon, other than Tapu Lele. Um, so Vulpix, 60 HP. Beldum, 60 HP. Cosmog, 60 HP. You, we, you, we know where this is going. They're going to die. Teammates, if a Pokemon was knocked out last turn, so during your opponent's turn, if you lost a Pokemon when he attacked, you get to search two cards. You don't even have to show your opponent what you search. Well, the good thing with teammates is you're normally going to start off with Vulpix, and then once it yeah, dies... Yeah, well, once the Vulpix dies, because you already got to have a bit, a bit set up. You can't just have Vulpix pass. Yeah. If you have Vulpix pass, you lose the game, um, essentially. Most, most, most players can do 60-plus in one turn. That is, that is easy to do. Tapu Lele abusively does 60-plus in one turn. Um, so, uh, Hex Maniac. Really good card, getting rotated out, sadly. But uh, this this is basically like uh, Utopic Zexal. You don't, you, neither you or your opponent gets to do anything for the turn. No Pokemon abilities. So no Shaman, no Tapu Lele, no Octillery, no Metagross, no Solgaleo, no Magirna, no no nothing. And it's actually a very good tech to slow yeah. your opponent down. This, this either completely shuts down your opponent, or it gives you the freest turn ever. If you can't afford to lose a turn, and you have no good supporters to play other than this, and your opponent relies on his abilities, bam, set your Pokemon pass. Just got you. Uh, Pokemon Ranger, the reason why you play Pokemon Ranger, for the sole reason, is you play, uh, when you play Metagross, using the Giga Hammer attack, I know you guys can't read the text that's below this, but it says this Pokemon cannot attack during the next turn. And there's also another issue with Green Ninja. Uh, yeah, uh, this... Yeah, uh, well, because Greninja has the Hex Maniac effect, where if it Shadow Stitches, you can't use abilities. If you counter that with Pokemon Ranger, not only do you remove uh, Greninja's effect of the attack for the turn, but this also means that a Metagross already influenced by Pokemon Ranger does not get its condition. So it will already be able to attack two times in two turns, which is great. And only on the second attack will it get the, unless you replay this, will it get the condition activating. Olympia is basically like an escape rope. We already have Solgaleo, but sometimes your Pokemon gets weakened a little too early in the game and you don't want it to die. So Olympia allows you to switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon, and then the active Pokemon that you had gains 30, uh, heals for 30 HP, which is really nice. It's basically a weaker switch. But yeah, it's a weaker switch, but it gives you a heal. Although it does cost your supporter for the turn. We have Skyla. It switches any trainer card. However, energy cards are not trainer cards. Trainer cards have to say the word trainer on them. So this can reference... Uh, supporters count as well. You yeah, supporters. Turn. Yeah, so uh, here are free types, the three types of trainer cards we have. We have items, which is you can play as many as you want per turn. You can only play one stadium per turn, though, uh, and you can only play one supporter per turn. So that is uh, that is what we have there for Skyla. And last but not least, we have one Lysander. You're going to be, most of the time with Metagross and Solgaleo, you're already one-shotting whatever the fuck you're hitting anyways. Um, so you really don't need Lysander often. Uh, this is this is late game. We via Seeker Lysander or just Lysander for the knockout. It's really a good. It's really good to have most around. People, most people play two, but most people play two. But in this deck, I don't think you need to since you want the space for the Pokemon Ranger or the Hex Maniac or even Olympia. Just a really good solid uh, one ofs uh, in the deck that you want. So uh, this comes up to the end of the uh, deck profile. This is a thirty minute deck profile. So I do thank you guys if you did watch until the end. Um, again, once again, this video was sponsored by, uh, Green Tea Kit Kat. So thank you, uh, yeah, now it's empty, but, uh, thank you, Nestle, uh, for the, for the self, shameless self-promotion plug that I, uh, happened to put in here. And, um, so yeah, we'll be letting you guys go on that note. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is my first in-depth deck profile where I really go into why we play the cards. And this is the first time where I have a guest that helps me explain some of the things that the deck can do. So I really enjoyed making this, however, it was really long. So if you guys do enjoy it, leave a comment, leave some feedback, or hell, even uh, since since my Facebook is linked, you guys can always leave me a message there. 
as to what we could have done to make the deck better, if we could have sped up the process a bit, or if we could have done something else. Uh, so just let me know, and uh, we'll work on that. So I, I really had fun, so I hope you guys have a great time. Emmanuel, do you want to say something? Yeah, thanks for the deck profile. Man. Alrighty, so no problem. So you guys take care now. Bye.